So maybe you live in Los Angeles area and you're thinking about moving to Las Vegas, but you kind of want to know how the two places compare to one another. Well, I did that and that's what this video is going to be all about. I'm going to compare Las Vegas and Los Angeles in several categories so that way you can better make a decision on whether or not you should move to Las Vegas. On this channel, we talk about all things Las Vegas. If that's something that interests you, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button and make sure the notification bell's turned on so that way you're hit up every time I post a new video. First, let's get this category out of the way, nightlife. Which one is better, Las Vegas or LA? Some people will think one way or the other, but I think the answer is pretty obvious if you break it down. Las Vegas has some of the most epic nightlife options every day of the week, every week of the year. Some of the parties that happen in Las Vegas would be considered a legendary night if it happened in Los Angeles. But that being said, maybe you wanna know about the lower key type things that aren't as fancy or aren't as loud. Those are the type of places I like to go to, the neighborhood bars and things like that. Well, in this category, I have to give it to LA mostly because LA has more neighborhoods. More neighborhoods means more neighborhood bars. But the thing about Vegas is that instead of having a lot of neighborhood bars, which it does as all major cities do, Vegas actually has local casino resorts that cater predominantly to the locals. And at these casino resorts, they have entertainment, they have concerts, they have comedians, they have nightlife like you would have on the strip, but most of the time you're getting locals and some people who are here maybe on business trips, but not the strip crowd as much. Also, it's worth mentioning that at the local bars and the local casino resorts in Las Vegas, because you're not gonna get a lot of tourists, you get a different feel than you would get, say, in Los Angeles, the neighborhood bars could have many tours. In fact, if you go to different pockets of Los Angeles, Santa Monica, Hollywood, Venice, those areas all have their own local bar scenes, but you're definitely gonna get tourists who come to visit specifically that area. Whereas in Las Vegas, you're gonna get most of your tourists congregated around the strip and the downtown parts. If you avoid those areas, then you're not gonna have that same kind of rush every time you're trying to go out and enjoy yourself. My name is Omar Willits and I'm a realtor in the Las Vegas area. If you're even thinking about moving to Las Vegas, could be in two weeks, two months, two years, it's best to start the process early. And I love the opportunity to earn your business. Everything you need to contact me is in the description box below. So let's talk about outdoor life really quick. Los Angeles has beaches. So I have to definitely say that the beaches in Southern California kind of take the cake. But if we're going in Los Angeles for Las Vegas, then you can say that there's still competition there because Las Vegas has skiing, Las Vegas has open desert, has a lot of hiking. LA has some urban hikes or city hikes, but at the same time, the beaches in LA are not as pristine as say the beaches right outside of LA in areas like Malibu or Orange County. So there's definitely still a competition there and I think that gives LA only a slight edge, but there are lots of outdoor activities to do in Las Vegas. We should also talk about the fact that Las Vegas gets hotter than LA in the summer. It gets hotter temperature wise, but because LA has a little bit more humidity than Las Vegas, it actually feels a lot worse in the valley part of LA to me than it does in Las Vegas summers. Now I've lived in the valley in Los Angeles. I've also lived in Hollywood. Well, technically, technically Los Feliz or Los Feliz depending on how you want to pronounce it. But the area in Los Feliz is not as hot as the valley and the locals know that. In Las Vegas, because we don't have the humidity, it doesn't feel as bad as it gets in the valley in the summertime, the valley being in Los Angeles. I should probably stop saying the valley because Las Vegas is also in a valley and that can get confusing. So I'll try to refer to Las Vegas, Las Vegas, 
Los Angeles, <laughs> uh, the Los Angeles Valley is the Los Angeles Valley, or, or I should say San Fernando Valley. So let's talk really quick about the cost of living in Los Angeles versus Las Vegas. The property tax in Las Vegas is generally cheaper. There's no state income tax in Nevada, so you won't have to deal with that in Las Vegas. Gas for your vehicle's cheaper. Utilities are generally cheaper. Most food is cheaper. There are some produce items that are less expensive in Southern California because their proximity to where they're grown. But usually food is cheaper in Las Vegas. Salaries are generally higher in Los Angeles than they are in Las Vegas. But even given that, the amount of purchasing power you have for your dollar in Las Vegas is exponentially higher. Of course, housing is a lot cheaper in Las Vegas. In fact, the price per square foot sometimes is half of what it is in Los Angeles, sometimes less than half. This is constantly shifting, so you're gonna definitely wanna check on that when this video reaches you, because right now I'm recording it in 2021, and who knows, you can be watching this five years from now. So let's talk about transportation differences in Las Vegas versus Los Angeles. Well, everyone knows traffic in LA is intense. There's a lot more traffic in LA than there is in Las Vegas. Not only that, but the streets in Las Vegas are newer, generally more developed, and they're also wider. If you wanna talk about public transportation between the two cities, well, in Las Vegas, the public transportation is a little bit lackluster compared to the public transportation in LA. LA has a subway, LA has uh, expansive bus system, and I personally know that the subway system in LA is actually pretty legit. I used to catch it from uh, Los Feliz Hollywood area to get to USC when I went there to get my master's degree. The subway is definitely something that you would miss if you came to uh, Vegas. And in Vegas, you definitely wanna have a car, but the same can be said about Los Angeles. The difference is that you're gonna be spending a lot more of your life in your car if you live in Los Angeles than if you live in Las Vegas. So let's talk about the difference in population in Las Vegas versus Los Angeles. The population density is insane in LA. In fact, right now in 2021, it's more than double what it is in Las Vegas. That can be misleading though, because things compound. So for instance, if there's an accident on the freeway in Los Angeles, it's definitely gonna make a pileup way worse, more than twice as worse as it would be here. Because again, things compound. You're gonna have more people on the freeway and you're gonna have a harder time to clear that out. And if you live in LA, you know that these accidents happen all the time on the freeway. It is very rare to find yourself in bumper to bumper traffic in Las Vegas. In fact, the only time I've ever experienced that is if I'm driving up and down Las Vegas Boulevard during a busy tourist time. And the only time I'm ever going to do that is when I'm forced to play tour guide because people are in town visiting me. Other than that, you're not going to have that bumper to bumper traffic like you would experience in LA even during rush hour. But you don't have to take my word for it. I have a traffic video of Las Vegas and you can just check that one out. It's during midday and it's pretty short, but you can see how empty the freeways are in the Summerlin area in the west side of the city. So let's talk about general entertainment in the Los Angeles area versus the Las Vegas area. I'm gonna to have to give Vegas this one again and I may be a little biased, but having lived in both areas, the entertainment in Las Vegas is much more accessible and, of course, it's world class. Every night in Las Vegas, you're gonna have some form of live music, some big artist, big name A-lister is going to perform at some casino or resort, and you're gonna have comedians off strip, you're gonna have escape rooms, you're gonna have all kinds of food. This is every single night and you could participate in it if you want, or you can stay away from the strip and enjoy more local entertainment. In Los Angeles to see something comparable, not only are you gonna come out of your pocket more, but you're gonna have to deal with a lot more traffic getting to the location. You're gonna have to deal with problems parking. It's just a different experience when you're trying to have a good night or a good day out than if you did it in Las Vegas. 
And keep in mind, because the population density is less than half in Las Vegas than in Los Angeles, you're going to have less lines. You're just going to have a better time all the way around. So let's tally up the score really quick. We're going to say that outdoor life, we're going to give Los Angeles the slight edge. So LA won. Nightlife, we're actually going to have to give that one to Vegas by a slim margin. So Las Vegas won. Los Angeles won. Cost of living, Las Vegas wins this by a landslide. It's so much cheaper to live here. Your dollar's gonna go a lot further. Transportation, I'm gonna have to maybe give this one a tie. I probably should give it to Las Vegas because the lack of traffic, but the subway and the bus system, it's just a lot of ways to get around. So I'm gonna give this one a tie. Population density, that's easy. It goes again to Vegas. And entertainment, I'm gonna have to give this one to Las Vegas. But you let me know what you think. If you think I got it wrong, if Las Vegas isn't a better place to live than Los Angeles, leave a comment below and let me know how you think the two compare for you. Okay, so that was a quick comparison between Los Angeles and Las Vegas. If you wanna know more information about Las Vegas, click one of the videos on screen that make the most sense to you.